this is Angela Murad at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. I'm doing this month's update for the Android uh, feature matching chart and am adding information about which apps you can use the high quality acapella text to speech voices in. It was quite exciting to discover that if you purchase these in acapella, so you have to install the acapella app, let it contact the server. So obviously you'd have to have Wi-Fi for this. So I have already purchased Josh and Ella, the two USA English high quality child voices, male and female, and then Emilio and Valeria, the two USA Spanish high quality child voices. They also have quite a few adult voices. There are Arabic voices, German, you can see there's quite a wide variety. I'm just going to scroll on down here in case you haven't seen this app before here on the Google Play App Store. So what you do is you go in and say if I wanted to purchase one, I would tap on the name of it. I'm not going to do it here because I don't want to disclose my credit card information. You would tap on the one that you want. It gives you where you can listen to a sample and then you purchase it. And then close out of the app, open it back up. It then reconnects with the server and that's how it knows that you've purchased it. And then you'll have a download button and you'll tap on it to download it and install it. Um, and so that's the important first step. Once you do that, then there are several um, AAC apps that the voice will work in. Not all of them. I went through all of them to test it out. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it did not work in a vase. Um, hopefully, they'll be adding back child voice options soon to that app, but the most recent update uh, switched to a different text-to-speech uh, voice options and there's not any child options in a vase right now and um, it did work in Asterix grid it did work in that it worked in seaboard it worked in core voice I'm going to show you core voice since that one is on my robust list it's not really fully robust, but it's robust enough to make the list. Yes. And so you can hear Ella there. Let me turn up the sound. I can do it. Yes, I can do it. And then if I go over here in core voice, and I'm going to switch over to Spanish... And then I'm going to tap down here on the voices. You can tell it picked up on that I have these system voices um, installed. So I'm going to switch to Spanish. Sí. Bueno. And then I'm going to switch back because I usually am on English. And so you do have to switch the voice. English when you switch that way, but it does work in core voice. Yes. So that was exciting. Let's see the next one that it works in. Oh, you don't need to worry about cough drop because they have access to high quality voices um, that you can download with in their app. Let's see, it worked in Help Talk, which is a very basic text-to-speech app. It worked in I Can Communicate. It worked in Let Me Talk, which is sideloaded from uh, the Amazon App Store and because it's disappeared here on Android. The acapella voices that I purchased did work in this AAC keyboard with friends. Hello. 
want. So that was pretty cool because that's free. Let's get back out of that. It worked in predictable. So I've already gone into the settings and uh, set it to, I believe, Ella. Yes. So there she is. So that was cool to have this be a way to get some good child voices in Predictable. It worked in Speakeasy. Um, it works in Speak It which is a really nice, very simple text-based app. This is my voice. So there's Ella and that. And the cool thing is, is that I only had to purchase each voice one time. They were $7.99 each um, in the USA. Um, and then I was able to use them across these various apps. The most exciting one to me was Speech Assistant, AAC. My name is Angela. And in this one, go in here. Speech and Sound, this is where you would select uh, which one to make sure that you're on the one that you want. So if I wanted to switch over to Josh, I could do that. I want to show you also in this one. Done. On Android, it's only officially available in English, but since I own the iOS version and use it all the time on my iPhone and iPad, I was able to send myself backups from the iOS version and they work here on Android. So I actually have all the languages that they support, Dutch, English, French, German, and Spanish. And so you can just do that. Mi nombre es. And so that's the Valeria voice that it switched over to. And so I'm going to tap again. I'm going to go back to English. My name is Angela. And what's super cool is I have this app also side loaded over on my Amazon Fire tablet. And it was the only app that allowed me to use these high quality voices even though I was over on that other tablet. Um, I went through the same process of sideloading the acapella voice store, restored my purchases, downloaded, and then it worked. Um, there's something that the app developer must have done to allow those specifically within this app. So it was really exciting to have access to that. Let me get back out of here. There we go. Close that one. And Simbo Talk, it worked in. So it worked in Simbo Talk. It works in Vocable. So I'll show you that one. I need a bath. So there's Ella here in Vocable. And normally you would only have adult system voices, so this allows you to expand who you could be using these apps with. It works in Weave Chat. Hopefully it doesn't make me log in. Yay, I'm still here. I can. I'm not sure why that pronunciation is like that. I could probably figure out how to change that. Go. I can go. Let me go back over and see if can sounds odd in speech assistant. Can. No. So that's just something quirky within WeChat. Um, and then the last one, 
that I found. It works in Yes No AAC. And you can actually edit these two buttons so they can be say something different. Yes. No. So if you want to go and stop. Anyway, that is Ella that you hear in there because I have it set um, in as the system voice. How I did that is over here in these settings on my Samsung tablet under general management. Make sure my language is set to English, text to speech. I'm going to tap on the preferred engine. And after I had installed everything for acapella, then I chose it here. And then I tap on the language and pick which voice. So that's how I have Ella set as the default system voice. So hope this helps. It definitely expands our options for child-friendly voices over here on an Android tablet.